Hello everyone, this is Karan from I Guess. Well, as you can see, I have a whole bunch of screens on my Apple Vision Pro right now allocated in the front, on the side, right here. So let's start with the left. So this is the Apple TV right here. And then I got the world clock here. I got the Disney Plus there and the music is here. And the good thing is you can just control it from here if you want to. So that's pretty neat. So we have it right here. Then I have the Tesla you know the home stuff there that is the solar and battery stuff that is there because i had some space so i'm like why not squeeze that in there so i have photos here and the browser so there's so much stuff that is here and i love how seamless that experience is so that massive screen actually behind that i have my projector screen but i don't think so i need that so i'm connected to this whole Dolby Atmos setup and you can see these speakers on the wall and all and I'll go over all of that later in another video But right now the thing is I have all these applications open, right? So let's say if I move out of this room and come back and put the Apple Vision Pro back on would this stay in this place or not? So we're gonna try to Work on that. So I'm gonna take my Apple Vision Pro and it is also connected to this 10,000 milliamp power pack, which is providing it three times more battery power. So I did the video on this one as well. And I'm gonna have eight hours of total battery, so I don't have to worry about charging. But I'm gonna go outside. This screen is right in front of me. I can move it if I want to, like this, because I could not, could not see the door. Or I can just uh, make it bigger again and uh, probably just keep it right here, it's fine. So we're gonna go out of this room, stuff you can see when you're Looking at it from the side, it looks like this. So I closed that door completely and I came outside and it also gives me the warning that you're too close to the object because I was closer to the wall. But now I'm gonna go back in and actually I can see through this door. This is weird. I can see through this door and even the door is closed, but I can still see through. So it's warning me that you're too close to an object. So there's the screen right here. Everything is where I actually left it. So yeah, the main screen is there. Nothing has moved. So I'm gonna take off this uh, Apple Vision Pro and see what happens when actually it goes in the standby. Would this all stay here at the same place or not? So let's just try that. So you can see that this is how the room looks and all those virtual screens. Uh, let's see if that all is going to be here when I put back this uh, on. So right now it's on standby and I'm going to put it back on and it's going to ask for the, you know, the iris verification. And let's see if it's going to have all those screens here or not. So let's see you on the other side. Okay, so I have put this back on and everything is where it was supposed to be. I have the pictures here, the browser here, the Tesla app is there. I actually moved the Tesla app a little. So let me go back. Oh, wow, it's huge. Uh, right there. And then you can adjust the size by looking at the corner there. And that is neat and clean. Back again. Everything is there where I left it. So this is amazing for people who want to do the multitasking. So now let's disconnect this battery pack right here and we will see if it will still be uh, showing me. Like that will be complete disconnection from the battery. So let's do that. Okay, so the Apple Vision Pro has powered back on after disconnection from the, you know, the cable and no connection, no battery, uh, putting any power into the Apple Vision Pro and all of those screens are gone. So there's nothing now that I had on the right, on the left, on the front. So the thing is, when you disconnect the cable from the Apple Vision Pro, it actually shuts down the system completely. That's why I actually like this setup right here. So I have the Apple Vision Pro battery, and also I have this power bank, which is giving 10,000 milliamp capacity to the whole system. So 10,000 plus 3,000, that's 13,000, and total of eight hours of battery. So I don't have to worry about charging it every two hours. So I can wash my stuff, spend like a few hours here, take a break and then come back in here. But I don't have to worry about charging it all the time because this is providing the continuous power and your system is gonna be in the standby most of the time. So I don't have to worry about shutting it down or battery running out completely. So I'm gonna be doing more stuff. As you can see, this is the home theater that I have and I'm gonna be connecting it to the Apple Vision Pro showing you that process, how the Dolby Atmos sound is because I have the speakers up top and in the back and in the front. 
So if you're interested in home theater stuff and also integration of the Apple Vision Pro into the whole system, make sure to subscribe and like this video and I'll see you in another one. Until then, peace out.